Hi viewers, I'm your host Shiraz Ahmed Khan. In today's video, we'll continue with the home tab of MS Word. And in order to apply today's actions onto the text, first of all, I suggest you to pause the video first and download the file that is required to implement these things onto the text. The file can be shown at the under this video. You can download that file and store it in the same folder that is MS Word. So I'm going to that path, D drive, MS Word, and here's that file computer components that you can download from the link given under the video. Open this file. Viewers, once the file is opened, and the first thing that we are going to discuss today, it's given in the font section, the font group of the home tab. And home tab, you already know that it's by default selected. Once again, we'll have to select the text first to implement the first two actions, which are known as font color and text highlight color. So select this, the first line completely with the help of mouse or with the help of keyboard, it's up to you. And there was one more thing, I suggest you to always uh, make selection of the text with the help of shortcut keys so that you become habitual of doing this. Because as I told you earlier, that good typists or computer operators, they prefer to use the shortcut keys instead of using the mouse all the time. So once the selection is made, focus on the font group of the home tab. And here we have the first option of today's video that is font color. If you click this, it will pop down uh, the color palette and you can mouse hover. Views by mouse hover, we mean just moving the mouse pointer over the different options. This is what we call mouse hover. So mouse hover onto different colors to see their impact in the preview, that is in the text editor. And once you finalize the color, just click it from the color palette. The color palette will disappear and the color will be applied onto the selected text. So here we have chosen blue and you can see that the blue color is applied onto the selected text this is known as font color font color means the color of the text not the background or not the sharing in order to give it a shade or a background color or according to microsoft word the technical name of this option is text highlight color on the left side of the font color. Once again, if you click this drop down arrow, the palette will open a limited number of colors with us and you can choose any color to highlight the text according to the font color so that it should be visible to our readers of this document. So you can make combination of Four color and the background color with the help of this text highlight color is like we highlight the text with the help of highlighter on our books or on our copies or notes of thesis so we have applied two different color options one is known as text color or font color or four color second option is known as shading background color or the text highlight color. The next thing in today's video, it's a bit different from the previous options and it's we are now moving to the next group that is paragraph group or section. For that purpose, first of all, select rest of the words given on different lines everything except the first heading that is already highlighted and its color is changed. Now we are focusing on bullets and numbering. 
viewers as far as the procedure or uh, of applying of changing the text or uh, or an ordinary list into a bulleted list or a numbered list is same the only difference is that in the case of bullets different shapes will start appearing onto the left side of the uh, list I, uh, list items and in the case of numbered list instead of the different shapes different sorts of uh, uh, numbers will start appearing onto the left side of the items of the list so let's experiment them one by one you can straight away click this icon and you will see two things are happened automatically one thing is that automatically the text is moved from the left margin towards the right side it's done automatically after converted this list of items into a bulleted list one more thing is that that you may observe that the spacing between the words previously it was more than that of the current spacing between the words by spacing actually we mean this area the white area between the input devices word and the word keyboard i can show you that how it was looking previously look now the spacing it's more than that of after applying or after converting into a bulleted list now the list is converted into bulleted list automatically it is moved from the left margin towards the right side and automatically the line spacing between the words it's reduced it's done automatically uh, in the next videos we'll learn how to increase this spacing if you want to have more now following the same procedure if you click this numbering option and just click this icon instead of clicking this drop down arrow it will be converted into a numbered list so this is the simplest method of converting a list of items into a bulleted or numbered list let's explore more options if you click this drop down arrow of bulleted list it will pop down more options for us and you can choose the different shapes from the given shapes and even you can define a new bullet of your choice you can choose any picture of your choice from your computer and it will be applied but usually we uh, we use we frequently use the given options and you can convert it back to none to automatically go back to the list of items without bullets or without numbering by choosing none from this list so previously it was a different bullet that was chosen that was applied automatically and now we are choosing this the hand symbol similarly again select the list and this time now click the drop down arrow given next to the numbering option if you click this look now we have different options and again we have none with us if you choose none automatically the numbered or the bulleted list will be converted back to the original list that was without numbers and without bullets so this time choose the numbering option from these and once again you can define your own number format but we are not discussing it it's beyond the scope of these videos so choose compromise any of these options and you'll see it in the preview so viewers so far we have learned that how to convert list of items into a bulleted or a numbered list the last thing of today's video is how to change the level of the bulleted or the numbered list and to for the clarity purposes go back and choose a convert this numbered list into the bulleted list by choosing any options from these i have chosen squared list now basically the word keyboard mouse joystick and touchpad they are all input devices and we want to give them a different level they should be sub parts of input devices input devices it's the main heading and keyboard mouse joystick touchpad and light pen as well these are the sub 
items of the main list that is input devices so select these five words first go to this bulleted list arrow again the drop down arrow and now see this change list level the second last option from this drop down list and choose this is basically the first level and this is the second level third level fourth level and fifth level choose the second level level two for this and you'll see its impact automatically the list is more intended towards the right side as compared to the words input devices it actually means that the these five words are sub types of input devices or examples of input devices similarly repeat the same process for led and printer because they are examples of output devices select both of these again go to the drop down list of next to the bulleted list change list level and choose the second level level 2 for these two devices as well viewers these were the things regarding the level of the bulleted or the numbered lists now let's see that are we able to change the level of these bulleted or numbered lists with the help of keyboard or not for that purpose place the cursor before the word keyboard and now press the left arrow or you can select these five words again and now to decrease the level from level 2 to level 1 press the shortcut key and the shortcut key to decrease the level of the bulleted or numbered list is shift plus tab look Previously it was at level 2 and now it's gone back to the level 1. And the shortcut key to increase the level of the bulleted or numbered items is only tab key. So press tab once. Now the list is at level 2. If you press the tab key again, it will be shifted to level 3. If you press the tab again, it will keep moving and finally it's at level 4. And it, to reduce the level, you can press Shift and Tab. But in order to implement all of these, the Tab and the Shift Tab keys, you'll have to select the items first. So, viewers, that's it for the bulleted and numbered items. And now let's explore a few more things regarding these. In order to insert an item in between these items place the cursor at the end of that particular item for example if we want to add an item after touchpad place the cursor at the end of the word touchpad and then press enter key enter key its usual behavior is to insert a new line and it takes the cursor to the start of the next line as well but in this case, because it's a bulleted list and Microsoft Word understands it very well, so it the cursor is shifted to the next line and automatically a new bulleted blank item is inserted. So now type another word, scanner. Similarly, you can insert as many items and wherever you want in between these bulleted items as you want now place the cursor at the end of the word printer press enter key it will insert a new blank bulleted item and type here the word plotter it's an example of a computer output device now the last thing regarding this bulleted and numbered list that if you want to start a new paragraph and the point is if you want to end the bulleted items at a particular point but we see that if the cursor is placed at the end of the word plotter and if you press enter key once it will insert a new black bulleted item but our requirement is different we want to start a new paragraph after the bulleted list so the you can end the bulleted or numbered list anytime by pressing the enter key twice let me repeat it if you want to end the uh, bulleted items anytime 
and if the cursor is pose placed at the end of the word plotter if you press enter key it will insert a blank item but we want to start the paragraph now to so press the enter key again it's basically a message for the system that we want to go back to the first level level one and if you press the enter key again it is basically a message for the computer that we want to end all of these bulleted lists so viewers let's quickly recapitulate that what we have learned in today's video we took start from font color then background color then bullets and numbering and the most important thing is in bullets and numbering is that how to insert a bulleted item in between the two already inserted items and how to end the bulleted list at any point by pressing the enter key twice or thrice that's it for today viewers do not forget to like and subscribe my channel stay blessed stay tuned see you during the next video goodbye